All right, so Dr. Jeff Matthews, thank you very much for taking the time uh, to do this interview. And, uh, you know, you're doing some amazing work in the field of super longevity, along with Dr. Bill Andrews. And uh, I'm very excited to have this time with you to do this interview because I think there's going to be a lot of people in the world that uh, also will share this excitement and this enthusiasm for what you're doing. And I love also the urgency you feel in your own person to really uh, help create a world without sickness, aging, and death. And you have a company called Liabella. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah. Um, in 2013, um, I lost one of, one of my daughters to uh, anxiety and depression. And um, I decided that the, the world of psychology and psych, psychiatry in general uh, was all just screwed up, that just about anybody could provide better care than, than we got anyways. So in 2015, um, you know, I, I already have a multi-specialty medical practice. Um, so I had all the infrastructure in place, all the people in place to, to open a mental health center. But, uh, so I did in 2015. I, I had heard that uh, genetic testing might be able to help us in matching up drugs and getting it right the first time for a particular type of a diagnosis. And even if nothing else, a genetic test would allow us to get a metabolic rate. And that's really important because you can get the drug right um, in the world of psychiatry, but you might get the dose rate wrong. And so we still don't help anybody. I guess accidentally as I was trying to educate myself on the world of genetic testing, um, I typed in gene therapy. And then one day, I happened upon this guy, Dr. Bill Andrews. So the very first time he agreed to meet me face-to-face -face was a, a couple of colleagues of his at RadFest. And that started the beginning of uh, a very credible, powerful relationship. And we have really worked since that day to create um, a vehicle by which we can see if telomerase does anything good for people. I mean, we've been, we spent the better part of a year uh, putting together what has now become Libella Gene Therapeutics. Um, that's a company that, that I run, and I license Bill's science, technology, his time, his efforts, his lab uh, to, to do a study. That's what we decided to do. And when does this study start? Well, we're already signing people up. We have a website, libellagenetherapeutics.com. Um, there's, there's a couple of non-traditional things about this study. One of them is that, as you've been telling people for a long time, even the idea of trying to, to bring gene therapy to the world on some kind of a, uh, a quicker pace is outrageously expensive. So... You know, do we want to wait seven to ten years and 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 then eventually have things start to develop, or is there a moral, ethical, and legal way that we could move forward at a faster pace and save more lives? So this is what Liabella then has put together with uh, Bill Andrews, Dr. Bill Andrews. Is that correct? You got to. That is exactly you, correct. Yeah, That's what so we're you, trying to do. And and this this gene therapy, from from what I understand, then has the uh, possibility, the strong possibility, and there's a lot of evidence to uh, indicate that, that it can reverse human aging. Uh, and, how, and how do you have uh, any expectations in that? Of course, it's the first human trials of this kind, but I've actually heard that there's a possibility of reversing human aging 10, 20, maybe more years. Is that correct? The short-winded answer is yes. 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 I think there's yes. an extremely strong yes. possibility. Yes. But in the, terms, in the terms of being able to bring this to the world, we had to pick a diagnosis of interest and see if we could specifically impact that. Okay. Yeah, so you're targeting Alzheimer's. There is evidence, there is animal evidence that we can take mice that couldn't find their way through a maze with 75% of their, of their um, you know, the size of their brain. And they were given the telomerase therapy and their brain size improved. They also reversed in every biological way possible in age, and they were easily able to remember how to go through mazes. So there's a lot of other evidence like that that suggests this might be a viable treatment for Alzheimer's. Yeah, that, that is 
huge news, huge, exciting news. Now, you need, though, some people to actually uh, step up and join these human trials. Is that, isn't that correct? So can you tell us a little bit about that, what you need? But right now, I'm looking for three people that are at risk of Alzheimer's or that have Alzheimer's or their family members that have the financial resources to help me see if we can change the world. Be somebody in their 70s to late 80s. We believe within three months we'll know whether or not our treatments work, and then we'll be able to offer to more. So the only way it's going to happen, we can either wait seven to 10 years for traditional mainstream research to run its course, or we can adopt the pay-to-play model, which is what Libella has chosen to do. It's been approved by the FDA, a pay-to-play model, but only the super rich in that age range are going to be able to do it, and we can't do it, and we can't do it without them. Yeah. Well, you made some really good points here. I mean, and, and one point that really strikes me is that uh, if you're 70 to uh, in the 80s somewhere and you have a lot of money, I mean, this is a very good calculated risk. I mean, uh, the side effects, uh, from what I've heard, are very minimal, you know, uh, and, but a person who's in their 70s or 80s that is already beginning to deteriorate, you know, in a devastating way or maybe just starting to get to that place uh, and they have the money, uh, like we always say, why die with your money? This is an opportunity to uh, actually extend life in a healthy manner. So why wouldn't you spend, if you have, say, millions of dollars or you have plenty of money, why wouldn't you spend it on staying alive and being able to enjoy your life for another who knows how long but, and, and it really with, with vitality? I mean, this is what this opportunity uh, creates. And I think it's so magnificent. Now, even talking about it, and to be able to express it in words <laughs> is, is like we, we don't have the words to express how dynamic, how amazing, how fantastic this opportunity is. And like everything else, though, you know, that's great that we create in this world as human beings. It starts out being expensive. It starts out, you know, maybe only the people who can afford it have it. But then the tr price eventually is driven down so everybody can afford it, like cell phones, for example, you know, is most yeah. recent. And, and so, right. so this is just fantastic. I mean, I'm so excited. I'm getting goosebumps sitting here. <laughs> talking to you because I know the, reper the repercussions of this and the possibilities of this and how hard Dr. Bill Andrews has worked on this, how, you're, how hard you're working on it. And, you know, you're out to save lives. I mean, your passion in this, Jeff, is amazing. Uh, you spoke at People Unlimited just a few weeks ago and shared, you know, this sa these same thoughts and Dr. Bill Andrews was there and we were all very moved by it. And I'm out to help you find anybody in this world now that has that money to start this program going because this is this is crucial. This is crucial, and and not only like you said, what 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 possibly cure uh, Alzheimer's, but it will have so many other great benefits for the human body. And you know we're pioneering a whole new life out here uh, to stop sickness, aging, and death. And you know I, I can go on and on about this as you know. So I'll let you you know consummate what you have to say here about this. But thank you for for stepping up to help make this possible. Holy cow, Jim. I mean, with your organization's help, I think it's not going to take very long before we can prove to the world that AAV, h gene therapy, is an incredible breakthrough in medicine, not just for Alzheimer's, but possibly for other things. Is it safe? That's one of the hurdles that we have to overcome. I didn't know how to do that any better than just putting all the clinical data on our website let let other medical professionals, team members for a patient um, decide for themselves, but it's all on our website. Uh, what would you say uh, for anybody who's listening right now that would like to get started or like to know more about this therapy and possibly uh, become a participant in it, what would you say to them right now? Please go to libellagenetherapeutics.com, click on the Register Now tab. The Register Now tab will lead them directly to me. My cell phone's on there. My personal email is on there. They will get a personal phone call from me, and I will guide them through the rest of the process. And from what I've seen, there's just full disclosure in everything that's going on, so a person can really go deep with whatever they need to know to begin this program. And if they then want to invest in it, uh, you know, that's when great things can happen. This is the first time... We've uh, in the history of, of mankind that I know about that we've actually put enough of the pieces in place 
that we can move forward with with real treatment and let's see if it works. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much. I mean, we're on board with you all the way, and I'm sure all those that are listening to this video who's a who are true, you know, I'll say advocates for life extension for super longevity are uh, cheering you on too. And uh, so I'm very uh, grateful for what you're doing again. And look, uh, good point. Uh, you know, Bill Falloon says this all the time. Uh, if you're listening and you have, uh, you know, money that uh, is not, I'll call it strategically invested in your life, you need to really look at it. Look at this possibility, uh, this gene therapy that's so fabulous that's been created and look at getting involved in this. Look at becoming a participant. So thank you for listening and, and thank you again, uh, Jeff, for this uh, tremendous interview. Well, I have a feeling that at RadFest 2018, which will be in September, that you personally are going to be able to stand on that stage and make some amazing announcements that, of successes in what you're doing. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that time. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Let's yeah. make it happen. Let's make it happen. Thank you very much.